Reparative Dialogue What is Reparative Dialogue? It is a reverent encounter of freedoms, with an effective and empathic tone where contrasts are called to be lived in the plurality of differences. It is a space where one enters from one's own vulnerability to engage in transformation and healing process that recuperates, recreates, and repairs those who are involved. It is an opportunity to strengthen or generate new connections towards growing wheat that encourages new narratives about reality. It is not a double monologue, duologue, where each of the participants pronounce their thoughts without concern for the other's acceptance, or without receiving anything from the other. It is not a chattering of imprisoned freedoms of emotions, convictions, prejudices, motivations that do not pertain to the dialogue itself, that seek to convince, manipulate, dominate or instrumentalize the other. It is not a search for agreement that responds to my understanding, my initial idea, and my experience. When listening becomes a mere confirmation of my preconception, it ceases to be listening and becomes an echo of my own voice. Conditions that make reparative dialogue possible. 1. Search for answers. To engage in such a dialogue, we would need to be able to remain in the questions that do not have replies in a search marked by patience, with the ability to let selves be surprised, to let selves be astonished. 2. Knowledge of one's own situation. Each of the persons involved must be aware of their historical and cultural situation, of the circumstances that affect their ideas and previous understandings and at the same time, be open to the questions and interests of the other. 3. Deep communication from our wounds. Willingness for a deep communication, sharing even from our wounds, connecting them. 4. Listening skills. Skills are necessary for a deep, empathetic, and attentive listening without prejudice, criticism, or arrogance, without listening only to myself, without distorting what the other tells me, without interpreting their words before their sharing touches me, without pretending to possess, to control, to believe that I already know, impermeable to any novelty or to any wonder. 5. Hope There is no true reparative dialogue without hope, without waiting for something from the other to whom I am listening, without holding back my expectations, desires, searches, without giving priority to the one from whom the word comes. 6. Humbleness to people who are different. Let us be open enough to welcome and include the foreigner, the one who is different, the stranger, and humble enough to listen to them, even if they apparently don't know. 7. Willingness to receive. Being willing to create an inner emptiness that allows us to make room for the other, surrendering our own self-love, will, and interest, and preparing us to be receptive. 8. Attraction to truth as novelty. Permit and dispose selves to allow the truth to emerge and to open way forward, this truth being something new that is made possible when personal perspectives and our own readings of reality are freely offered and surrendered. Conditions that make reparative dialogue possible. In order to create the conditions of possibility and growth in this dialogue, the examen, accompaniment, spiritual conversation, confession. In order to generate spaces for reparative dialogue, circles of listening. 9. From below, from within, from up close. We place selves in relationship with others from below, with the humility of those who recognize in the other someone from whom they can learn, someone worthy of being listened to, someone who can change them, from up close, aware that the true seat of listening is the heart, from within, from the heart, from the depths of our interiority, where the truest part of selves is found. 10. Silence Have a capacity for silence, that silence that allows us to connect with selves, with the source of our existence, to be within, to encounter our innermost being. 11 Word 
be capable of speech and response, of words that are accompanied by gestures way of looking, tone of voice, that convey the felt emotions, the experiences that throb beneath the sounds and the objective meanings that are transmitted, which are thus nuanced and enriched. Dialogue is based on the power and mystery of the word, which must be humble. The word is one of the most powerful instruments we have to express selves, to open a means to bring forth our interiority.